Even Laureen Harper, wife of Canada's current Prime Minister, doesn't appear to agree with the Conservative Party's war on cannabis. At a campaign event in Brampton, Ontario, Harper said you don't put people in jail for weed. Media and people have got, there's a lot of people that have spent a lot of time trying to convince us that marijuana is like, is, oh, it's no worse than alcohol or smoking or anything, actually. That's, I disagree with that. So I, uh, I think there's a big difference between, you know, you don't put people in jail. But there's a big difference between that and having next to here, next to a school or next to in your shopping mall where you go in and buy whatever you, you want. So does Harper support cannabis decriminalization like the NDP propose? Is she not aware that the Conservative government led by her husband continues to ramp up its war on the plant and its users? Not only has PM Harper pledged to increase RCMP funding to combat cannabis grow ops, but the party has already implemented mandatory minimum sentences for people growing as few as six plants. Under Conservative rule, the number of arrests for cannabis possession has increased by a third to about 60,000 people annually and Canada's prison population has increased by about 15% according to Statistics Canada. So why would Laureen Harper tell a group of conservative supporters that people shouldn't be locked up for cannabis? Probably because she knows it's the only reasonable position to hold. Not only that, but Harper knows it's a position of a majority of Canadians. Even at a conservative rally, Saying people should be locked up for weed wouldn't play well, and that should tell the party something about the direction of their harsh cannabis policy. 